Hello students, this is a very brief video about something called as exciton. Uh, let's see what an exciton is. So, you have been learning about valence band, you have been learning about conduction band and the existence of electron hole pairs in a valence band, right? So, I have here a valence band and I have a conduction band here, right? A valence band and a conduction band and they have an energy gap Eg. And you know, a valence band has an electron hole pair. Suppose I have a photon coming in of energy H nu, which is greater than Eg. You know, obviously, this electron gets this energy and makes a transition to the conduction band. So far, is something you have seen already. And you know, this electron, when it comes to the conduction band, will generally be converted into a conduction electron and it will drift away. This is what generally happens. But now, some occasionally what happens is, there is a repulsive force on this electron by the existing electrons. There are too many electrons which, ex which exert a repulsive force on this electron. And this hole also has a control over this electron. There is a, there is a force of attraction between this electron and hole, a Coulomb's force of attraction. This is very much like that of a hydrogen atom wherein you have the central nucleus which has proton, of course, neutrons also. And, and electron which is orbiting around it. So, there is a force of attraction which binds these two and uh, this electron keeps going around this proton. This pair of electron hole behaves very much like that of a hydrogen atom and they are held together by an ex energy which you call as Ex and this pair is known as an exciton and this exciton has an energy Ex. This exciton is a quasi-particle. What is a quasi-particle? It is neither stable nor unstable. So, it can either move away or it can collapse back. So, it is just waiting for, a, uh, for an opportunity to do one of this. So, it is not very stable either. So, this has an energy EEx which has been actually taken from this H nu. So, EEx plus Eg will actually be equal to H nu meaning your exciton energy will be very much less than the Eg, meaning the energy of this exciton will be far lesser than the energy of the surrounding electron, right? So, if, if a chance, if a chance occurs, this electron collapses back into the hole, giving away a photon, else it may also drift away, becoming a conducting electron, depending on the situation. So, what is an exciton? An exciton is an electron which keeps bound, which keeps bound to a hole and it has an energy Ex which is generally lesser than the other electrons. An exciton is also a quasi-particle. How does an exciton help in the case of a quantum structure? We will see in the next video.